Hello all and welcome to Aletha Zen RPG. I want to show you what I received in the mail today. I ordered this six days ago and it is here. Obviously, I simply need to open this box. I bought the book from the DM's Guild for a total of $25.78 and this does include shipping. It's on sale as of the posting of this video. I shall include a link in the description. Now obviously from the title, this is the Dark Sun campaign setting for Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, second edition. And I think the book is much thicker than I expected. Made well, glossy, gorgeous. And I will read from the back. Amid the barren wastelands of Athos lie the scattered city-states, each in the grip of its own tyrannical sorcerer king, protecting their own positions. With dark magic they demand absolute obedience. The restless mobs are placated with bread and circuses. The arenas overflow with spectators seeking release from their harsh lives. The land outside the cities belongs to no one. Savage elves race across the deserts while insectoid thrycreen satisfy their taste for blood. Dwarves labor at projects beyond the scope of men, and feral halflings lie in ambush. Athos is a land of deadly magic and powerful psionics that offers no promise of glory or even survival. Those who do not have the cunning to face life on Athos will surely perish, leaving nothing but bones bleached white under the blistering rays of the dark sun. So, my first exposure to dark sun was the original box set purchased in a small local hobby shop back in 1991, and that was the year I first played Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, or any version of Dungeons and Dragons, but even so, I never got to play or adventure in the world of Athos. Now, during the fourth edition era, which is cursed by many, I possessed the campaign guide and the, the monster manual for Dark Sun. Uh, I did, in fact, attempt to solo play with the included adventure. I did this twice, TPK both times. I simply gave the fuck up. So I'm just going to flip through here and let everyone gaze upon the beauty. And it is quite beautiful. It's a very nice book. Now from the back it says there are three new PC races, moles or mules, they are half dwarf, half human, especially bred for combat, Thrycreen, the savage mantis warriors from the barons, or of the barons, half giants bred for tremendous strength and size, there's three new PC classes, gladiators, heroes of the arenas, the ultimate warriors, Templars that are wicked priests who serve the sorcerer kings. Defilers, wizards whose powers drain the life around them. More powerful player characters. It says that all Dark Sun game characters begin at third level. Ability scores that can go as high as 24. All PCs have one or more psionic powers. The new character tree allows players to advance many characters at once. And I have to be honest, I have no idea what that is. It sounds good, though. Important. In order to explore the world of Dark Sun, you must have a copy of the Complete Psionics Handbook. Well, I don't, unfortunately. I'll have to get that. Now, the artist responsible for the look of the Dark Sun campaign setting is a fellow by the name of Gerald Brom. I think it's Brom, B-R-O-M. And he is quoted on Wikipedia saying the following, quote, I pretty much designed the look and feel of the Dark Sun campaign. I was doing paintings before they were even writing about the setting. I'd do a painting or a sketch, and the designers wrote those characters and ideas into the story. I was very involved in the development process, end quote. So here you can see a rather nice map, very colorful. And I don't know, uh, to use this effectively, I don't know if it really needs to be 
a mat that you can pull out and unfold. Uh, but, you know, I would prefer that. And there's a lot more in here than I thought would be in here. Now, originally, in the 90s, when I first saw this, I barely, barely got to look at it, actually. I did not purchase it. It was a friend of mine that purchased it. From Wikipedia, it says, Dark Sun is an original Dungeons & Dragons campaign setting set in the fictional post-apocalyptic desert world of Athos. Dark Sun featured an innovative metaplot, influential artwork, dark themes, and a genre-bending take on traditional fantasy role-playing. The product line began with the original Dark Sun boxed set released for D&D's second edition in 1991, originally ran until 1996, and was one of TSR's most successful releases. Dark Sun deviated from the feudalistic backdrops of its Tolkien-esque pseudo-medieval contemporaries, such as Greyhawk or Forgotten Realms, in favor of a composite of dark fantasy, planetary romance, and the dying earth subgenre. Dark Sun's designers presented a savage magic ravaged excuse me, ravaged desert world where resources are scarce and survival is a daily struggle. One thing I found surprising, because I was not abreast of the lore, I didn't really uh, look into this until recently, before the planet Athos became the hellish nightmare desert world that it is, it was ruled by halflings. That's right, halflings, hobbits. And they were the scientists and sorcerers and the people in the know. They knew how to control the life forces and to make and create life and destroy life and so forth and so on. And apparently, these, through their powers, they actually evolved, or all the, uh, rather, all the other races came from the halflings. Even the dragon kings, or the, the tyrannical rulers of the city-states of Athos. So I found that quite interesting. So the campaign setting of the Dark Sun is played on the fictional planet of Athos. Novels and source books largely take place in the Tyr region. It's T-Y-R. And so there are other areas described for play. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed looking at the book. Please like and subscribe.